Welcome to BK Engineering. This is Baru Krishna. In this video series, we're going to practice some solid work exercises as well as few projects. Let's get on with it. Welcome back, everyone. In this video, we're going to design the shock absorber adjuster disc in SolidWorks. Let's open the SolidWorks here. Click on the new. Click on the part. Click on open. So first of all, you have to select a plane here. I'm selecting the front plane. Click on sketch here. So first of all, I'm taking some reference line. Click on the center line. Make sure we have to keep the units in mm. So now I am drawing the sketch pattern. So roughly I have to draw it. Click on the line. First of all, I am getting the distance for this. These are 12, 15, and 30. Click on smart dimensions. It has a 12 mm. It has a 3 mm. It has 50 mm. From here to this line, it has a distance of 72 by 2. 36 mm. Also, we have to give the distance of this. It has a distance of 2 mm. It has a distance of 2 mm. And from here to here, it has a distance of 14 mm. This point to this point has a distance of 14 mm. These are also have a distance of 2 mm. That's it. Click on the tick mark here. So let's we have to revolve uh, do the revolve boss here. I click on exit sketch, click on revolve boss, select the axis line, click on tick mark. So we can see here we created our base. So in this we have to create a pattern sketch and do a circular pattern. Select this space on the sketch. I'm taking some center line here as well. I'm drawing a one circle here with having a diameter of 47.25 mm. Radius of 47.25. Click on the circle. Use the dimensions for this. 47.25. So now I am drawing some lines here, click on line, we have to create this pattern. We have to give the angle for this line, it has an angle of total 22, it has an angle of 11 degrees. Do a mirror for this, click on mirror, select the entities, click on mirror report. So now we have to remove the unwanted curve. Removing this curve. So let's extrude it up to 15 mm. Click on exit sketch. Click on extrude boss. We have to close this. So Take one more circle here. Click on features, click on extrude boss, extrude up to 15 mm. So we can see here we created our sketch here and did the extrude. So now we have to give the fillet for this. First we have to give the chamfer it having a 3 into 45 degrees. Click on chamfer, select this face. 
3 mm diameter, 3 mm distance, 45 degrees, click on tick mark. So now we have to give the fillet here with having the dimensions of 3 mm rate. Click on fillet, select this face and this face, 3 mm and upper as well. Click on fillet again, select this line. So now we have to give the corner fillet of 0.25 mm. Click on fillet here. 0.25 mm. Select the corners. So we can see here we created a fillet as well. So now we have to do the circular pattern here. Click on this. So click on here the circular pattern, we want 5 pattern count, select the direction, select. click on tick mark this. Uh, so now we have to create a threads here, we are uh, extruded threads, here is the given the pitch and height and diameter. So here click on the whole wizard, click on the thread. Select the location, I am selecting here, the thread it has size of M10 into 1 inch and metric die. So first of all you have to give the distance here as well, here there is a given distance of 30 mm of height, 72 mm and there is a Distance, pitch distance of 5 mm. So, five mm. so I have to give the extrude thread, click on the mirror profile. Here's the metric die. So that's it. Now we have to tick the trim with the end face. So click on tick mark here. So now we are done with our circular pattern here. So let's now we have to create threads here. So click on the whole wizard, click on thread, select the location of this thread. I am selecting from here. Here is a distance of 30 mm of height. Metric die. Uh, same and there is a distance of pitch distance of 5 mm click on extrude thread mirror profile click on trim end with face trim with end face giving the depth of 2 degrees click on tick mark So now we can see here 
we created a thread so I like to keep an isometric view so that's it guys our model is ready if you like the video please like share and subscribe if you want to learn any courses regarding mechanical engineering please click the link in the description